What is up everybody, here we are again with another huge news and fact roundup covering everything Breath of the Wild related. In some of our last videos, Awanuma gave several facts about where Breath of the Wild takes place on the official timeline. We had analysis videos of all of the newest trailers and much more, so check those videos out if you haven't already after this one. Links to everything will be in the description and the pinned comment. In today's video, we'll be covering some more details about the dungeons of Breath of the Wild. Alanuma hints at where the game takes place on the timeline for like the millionth time, a new ability system found in the game's menu, the origin of Ganondorf, and much more. So thank you for your interest in this video, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. First up on our list is a roundup of old and new information on the dungeons found within Breath of the Wild. Some of you may consider these spoilers, so skip ahead if you don't want anything revealed. Instead of the original 2D maps which are displayed on the screen, each dungeon map is going to be represented by a 3D model. Specific locations you need to pursue are marked. You can't see a floor by floor layout. You have no compass. Dungeons are smaller and less labyrinth or maze-like. Dungeons have a friendly voice guiding you that offers general hints and warns you of the boss. This voice is not heard outside of the dungeon, and Nintendo has not mentioned who the voice belongs to. Dungeons do not hide items that are required to complete the dungeon. Bosses won't be based around a singular dungeon-focused item. When you find a dungeon, you need to make sure you have everything you need and lots of it. One dungeon has pockets of a poisonous sentient liquid that hurts you to touch it. The substance is called malice and little eyeballs will sprout from these patches. Attacking these eyeballs will clear away the malice and sometimes constituted a small puzzle. Diamond shaped switches that can be activated with an attack are present and still react to your sword, bombs, and arrows. In one dungeon, after activating a switch with the Sheikah Slate, Link was able to control the dungeon slightly. When looking at the map, he could tilt the dungeon in order to open new paths or to make blocks and switches slide around. Next on our list, similar to the pro mode that was found in the game's menu system, someone has come across a menu for ability controls. Nothing is revealed other than we will be gaining at least 8 of them. Perhaps these abilities are similar to the hidden skills learned by Link and Twilight Princess, such as the Mortal Draw and Spin Attack. In that game, you were taught by the Hero Shade, who we now know as Link from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But we aren't sure what exactly these abilities are. They could be a way of using magic such as Din's Fire from Ocarina of Time or the Quake Medallion from A Link to the Past but we simply don't know. What are your thoughts on what these abilities are, and how we could potentially unlock them? Third on our list is a bit of information given during an interview about the upcoming Arts and Artifacts book, which is a follow-up to Hyrule Historia. During the interview, we are told about the origins of Ganondorf's original design, who we know as the human form given to Ganon, who first appeared in Ocarina of Time. Ganon is basically a pig, but the humanoid Ganondorf made his first appearance in Ocarina of Time. What was your inspiration when you started designing him? Takazawa, if I pronounced that correctly, answered with, Well, I started thinking to myself, what kind of guy is worth defeating? So he couldn't just be incredibly strong. Right. The enemies you feel the best about defeating are the ones that outclass you in every way, from abilities to experience. He also had to be an appealing character, even though he was an enemy. After a lot of trial and error, I slowly completed his model. Then, Nakana-san took that and improved upon it. Come to think of it, all of the illustrations that came from Nakana-san, I had very few comments on this one. Hardly any, in fact. Takazawa says, I did have one request that I felt strongly about. He initially looked like a brute who had nothing but raw strength. I wanted him to have clever eyes so you knew he was a man of high caliber. Right. At that time, I had been at the company for three years, and Nakana-san was three years my senior. I might have been out of line making such a request, but it was the one point I wasn't willing to back down on. I remember it well, and how tenacious he was about it too. He then laughs. The first illustration I did for Ganondorf had these wide open eyes. Not exactly an intelligent look, but more like he might have been a little mad. In the end, we arrived at the design that made him look not only more intelligent, but also, at the same time, like the epitome of an evil ruler. He is the final boss after all. And another thing, the first model I created for Ganondorf had him looking a lot thinner, and his head almost looked bird-like. One of the backstories for Ganondorf referred to him as the Gerudo King of Thieves, so I imagined him to be lean and not well muscled. I wanted him to move gracefully, like a whip. But when I saw the finished illustration of Ganondorf, it was quite different from what I imagined him to be. Emphasizing muscles more than necessary is just my style. Then again, it did become the basis of the Ganondorf in The Wind Waker and the Ganondorf in Twilight Princess. The design you came up with became the foundation for his design in several other titles. 
so I think it was a good thing. Next up on our list, we have a brief answer from Alanuma on the timeline placement of Breath of the Wild. It seems every time he takes a step, someone is constantly drilling him about where this game takes place on the official timeline. So during the interview, he was flat out asked, where does The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild end up on the Zelda timeline? He answers with, I'm not going to tell you where the game ends up in the Zelda timeline before you've had a chance to play, but if you watched the third trailer, then you heard about the voice that said Hyrule is a country that went through many battles against Ganon. I'd say this is a clue as to when the game takes place. To add to this, we know in the past he has mentioned that although the game shares some assets with the Wind Waker, such as the Koroks, the Deku Tree, and more, the story itself has nothing to do with that game. In another interview, he mentions the game takes place in a time where Hyrule has had many battles with Ganon, similar to how he did here. During yet another interview, he reassured us the game takes place after Ocarina of Time. It's nice Al Numa is giving a bit of clues as to where it takes place without revealing absolutely everything. What are your thoughts on where it takes place? Personally, I think many battles with Ganon points towards the end of the Downfall timeline, as two or three battles, which happens in the Child timeline with Twilight Princess, couldn't really be counted as many battles. At number 5, we have some information about the upcoming book we discussed earlier. Here is the official synopsis from Nintendo. The Collector's Edition bonus comes with a premium hardcover extra large map poster and dedicated 16 page art section. It has at a glance walkthroughs, which are annotated maps and screenshots that show you the way through every quest and dungeon. It's totally comprehensive, all side quests, all shrines of trials, and all information about the collectible items, each mapped out and ready for you to discover and complete. It also includes optional challenges, minigames, unlockables, easter eggs, and more. Every single puzzle and riddle unraveled with clear visual solutions. Expert combat strategy. Practical, reproducible tactics to crush your enemies and defeat the toughest bosses. Comprehensive reference. Exhaustive appraisals of all items and monsters, including key perimeters that are hidden in the game. Extra large map poster covering the entire game world. Quality control, carefully designed to avoid unnecessary story spoilers. So what are your thoughts on the Arts and Artifacts book? Are you going to be picking it up? What's up everybody, really quick before we get to the usual end slate, I wanted to mention a quick update for this channel. I'm trying to bring together a few new series other than the usual discussions and news videos that we do. I would like to bring quality reviews, let's plays, do more live streams, a top 10 series, and more analysis videos. However, to do this, I need your help. Between being a new father, YouTube, and my real job, I don't have the time to work on all of these videos. So I'd like to bring on other people who can help out from time to time, like Sissizi and others who have helped host and edit videos before. To make this all happen and to get awesome rewards for yourself, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can get shoutouts and videos, join our group discord and chat with us whenever you want, be a guest on some of our videos, and much more. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would like to give a huge thank you to this month's Patreons for their support. George Martinez, Glenn Cassio, Hen Hu Tienen, Lunarium, Magic Tech Review, The Itch Network, and Harris Priest. Thank you all for everything and it's because of your support that I'm able to find the time to do these videos. If you would also like to support this channel, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can find all kinds of great rewards like joining on a video, being added onto our discord chat, having your discussion or topic featured on one of our videos, and much more, including having your own custom artwork similar to my own, drawn of you in any anime or video game style you would like. Finally, I would like to give a huge thank you to Nomo Designs and CS Guitar 89 for providing the music and artwork for this channel.